Well, I've always been really curious about how social change happens ever since I was a kid. Um, I was really interested in activist movements and thinking about uh, progress on issues related to race, gender, and sort of other social identities. And when I was in grad school, uh, Hurricane Katrina happened my first year of grad school, and um, there was a lot of public conversation in the media, um, in politics, about the slow response in, in New Orleans and why it took so long um, for the people there to get the help that they really needed from the U.S. government. And that was one of the things that got me started in thinking about and studying the conversations we have about identity and inequality in media, um, and specifically thinking about the role that, in that case, activists played in drawing attention to some of the inequalities that were, were being experienced by the people in New Orleans. So that really launched me into starting to think about this question of the power of media and public conversations. I study counterpublics, and counterpublics are groups who have been at the margins of the media, politics, and sort of other important institutions, but have nevertheless really changed our world by introducing new ideas, new uh, culture, new political arguments into the public sphere. And so what's really important, and I also think fun about studying counterpublics, is that you get to tell stories that haven't been told before. You get to document parts of history and important things and people that haven't been as thoroughly studied or documented before and so you're really adding then um, to sort of our understanding of the world around us, of our history, of our culture in a way that broadens and expands our understanding. Especially the strategies of agitation and tactics because in both of your cases there's at least 10 that you guys read about. In both. You know I hope my students leave any class with me feeling empowered. That's really, really important to me. And I mean both empowered by knowledge and how to apply that knowledge in the real world, whatever sort of careers or professions they're going into, but also empowered to sort of understand how change works in democratic contexts and having the, the power to know how to be involved in making that change if they want to do that.